Yo, what is going on guys, it's Israel here and welcome back guys to another Cold War Zombies video. In today's Cold War Zombies video guys, we're going to be going over the tier 5 shotguns that have recently came out with the release of season 2. So with season 2 releasing here in Cold War Zombies, we now have the new tier 5 section for every single skills in the skills menu. So specifically for this video, we're going to be going over the shotgun section for the tier 5. Now if you guys didn't know before, shotguns were the strongest weapon class in Cold War Zombies. They just have been strong. Like any other shotgun, shotguns are always strong in zombies. Uh, before, like I said, before, you know, the release of Season 2, shotguns remain, you know, just the most strongest thing. The Howard shotgun was great, the Gallo shotgun was great, and even the Street Sweeper when it got its buff. They were all reliable shotguns to use within Cold War Zombies. Now, with the release of Season 2, they have gotten even better now because they have added the skills tier up to Tier 5, meaning that the shotguns are going to be doing additional damage, meaning they're going to be the best class still in Cold War Zombies. Now, obviously, that excludes Wonder Weapons. Wonder Weapons are still pretty good. But the shotguns, non-Wonder Weapon, are just the best class to be using right now in Cold War Zombies. Especially now with the release of Outbreak, you want to be running a shotgun. So in this video, I'll go over every single shotgun, using them at round 30, providing loadouts, and pretty much giving you guys my own personal opinion on what is the best shotgun in the game. And then I want you guys as well in the comment section below to leave what is your favorite shotgun down below. So that's going to be for me in the intro. Let's go ahead and get into the actual video now. Okay, guys, so here we are into the skills menu. So as you guys can see here, we now have tier 5 shotguns. Obviously, like I said, now with the release of season 2, we got tier 5. So as you guys can see, tier 4, we are increasing close quarter damage to 25%. And same thing with critical bonus damage at tier 5, up to 25%. Meaning that we're going to be doing the most amount of damage up close and to the head, which is exactly what we want to be doing in zombies, considering most of the time the zombies are in front of you at close quarters range. And if you have dead shot, you might be aiming in and getting those extra headshot damage. So this is what it looks like for the tier 5 menu. You guys, I would recommend that you guys get this. Uh, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the actual gameplay and video. I'll quickly show you guys something before we get into the video. A lot of people have been telling me about this. And honestly, I figure that I need to address this before I get into the actual video. So when you guys are using the Task Force Barrel, before your game starts or before you play a game of zombies ever, your numbers will look different than after your game so let me show you guys so the gallo here sa12 this is me after playing a game of zombies i go to task force i press right trigger you guys can see it's a 760 damage versus the 400 that it normally does or the numbers might be lower but 760 damage is what your damage is after the game with the gallo for example so now let's go look at the street sweeper you go to task force barrel 374 versus the 198 it does before you can see the difference there so now if we go to the Howard shotgun, you will see a drastic difference. 2,030 damage versus the 630 that it initially does. So this is the point that I've been trying to get across to people why you need to make sure you guys pay attention to your numbers. Because this is what I mean by numbers. People will look at it before the game starts and be like, no, you're wrong. Your numbers aren't right. Then once the game ends and you look at your game afterwards and you look at this menu after the game has ended, you can see why the Howard is better. There's so much more damage. But yeah, I just want to make sure I address this before we get into the video so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. But yeah, make sure you guys pay attention to this because it's very important. On to the video now. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about our first shotgun. And we're going to be talking about the Street Sweeper shotgun. So I've already made a video in the past about the Street Sweeper shotgun when it first got its initial buff. And honestly, the shotgun was much better than when it actually got buffed. As for now, having the tier 5 upgrade, it only makes it much better as when I made that video. The True Super Shotgun is so much better now. A lot of people haven't given it a go again. And some people still disagree that it's kind of shit. But honestly, if you if you used it when it first came out versus what it is now, there's a significant difference. A very, very huge difference. So right now here, I'm on round 36. I've got the tier 5 shotgun in the skills tree. I've got everything maxed out. And I'm about to show you guys how powerful the shotgun really is. As you guys can see there, it, the damage just absolutely shredded that train. It absolutely just burnt through the zombies. They literally got rid of all the zombies in no time. This shotgun is absolutely much, much, but much better because of the fact that the headshot damage is increased when you get to tier 5. 
and then you have more close quarters damage at tier 4. Meaning that if you're doing more close quarters damage and you're doing more headshot damage, you're only going to do so, so much damage to the point where, you, honestly, you can't even remember if it was shit in the first place. So yeah guys, if you guys haven't given the Street Sweeper Shotgun a go, um, then make sure you guys give that a go. I do have the loadout in before this section of the video, so make sure you guys look, look at that loadout. Make sure you guys are at least running the Task Force, bro. You gotta have that. Uh, you know, this is my maxed out shotgun, and overall, with the new Tier 5 shotgun upgrade, this shotgun is absolutely a laser to zombies on a high round. Okay, so moving on to our next shotgun to talk about on this list is we're going to be talking about the Gallo Shotgun. Now this shotgun doesn't really need that much of an introduction. We all know what the Gallo Shotgun can do here in Cold War Zombies. Now it's been honestly an argument for me that the Gallo is a little bit slightly on the weaker side when it comes to the Howard. Now it is obviously an opinion based thing overall on which shotgun you prefer the most. But based off of stats I think that the Howard has higher damage. When you look at the, you know, the Task Force barrel and overall, I just think that the damage is so much better with the Hauer. But, um, you know, as long as, you know, whatever shotgun you prefer at the end of the day is whatever one you like. But the Gallo definitely has some very good things, especially now with the Tier 5 upgrade. This shotgun is so much better. Doing more damage up close in close quarters range, obviously. And then the headshot multiplier with the critical damage buff for the Tier 5 upgrade. It just absolutely becomes an absolute laser beam even better of a laser beam than it was before like i said before this shotgun does have a huge argument about it which one is better but honestly the biggest buff that this shotgun got is just that fucking critical damage because if you can back up from zombies like how i am here i'm trying to get slightly away from my train in this gameplay and i'm able to back up in like two to three hit a zombie from that far now of course the closer you get you have one shot potential two shot potential but as you back up, you know, you're going to lose off on that damage range. But this shotgun doesn't even really get negatively impacted by that range. Because this shotgun, when you aim in and you're shooting zombies in the head, when you get more damage at tier 5, it's like you're just doing so much more damage. It's, it's just something to really love about the shotgun. But yeah, honestly, guys, if you guys haven't given the Gallo a try, which I don't know who hasn't given the Gallo a try. But if you haven't given the Gallo a try, you just got into Cold War Zombies. Go ahead and use this shotgun because this shotgun at tier 5 is absolutely amazing with damage. But I still prefer the Howler, which is the next shotgun that we're going to get into now. Here we are at the final shotgun, the Howler shotgun. So right now, as I said, there are only three shotguns currently within Cold War Zombies. The Howler, the Gallo, and the Street Sweeper. Out of all three shotguns, I would rank the Street Sweeper at number three, the Gallo at number two, and I would rate the Howard at number one only because of its damage. In Zombies, damage is crucial, and when you have a shotgun, you want the best damage output. Now, for a semi-automatic shotgun like the Street Sweeper and the Gallo, the Gallo definitely wins in that category. But with there only being one pump-action shotgun, pump-action shotguns have usually been known to do more damage, and that's no different with the Howard shotgun. Throw on the Task Force Barrel for an additional amount of damage, and only with that Task Force Barrel will you be having the Howard be at number one. Without the Task Force Barrel, I would definitely give it to the Gallo, but the Task Force Barrel by itself is just what makes this shotgun the best shotgun in the game. With the shotgun being so damn good, it literally is one hitting zombies on around like 35 in this gameplay. I'm literally one hitting zombies, I'm for the most part one hitting mimics at some points, and I'm also two hitting pretty much manglers at that point. This shotgun is so consistent with damage that you will have no issue using it. Especially when you get your dead shot, you know, all the way maxed out and you're doing all this extra damage with the um, tier 5 upgrade, obviously. Because tier 3, tier 4 to tier 5 are a huge difference compared to when you just have it at the basic level. But when you have this shotgun maxed out alongside dead shot and you're just getting so much damage... Because you've gotten extra critical damage increase with the tier 5 shock. And, and with just Deadshot doing more damage to the head. You're just going to absolutely be hitting zombies so fucking hard. Mimics, any sort of megaton, any sort of boss. Even an outbreak, this shotgun just absolutely demolishes zombies. It is so fucking good. And honestly, if you have not tried this shotgun out. And you still think the Gala is better. Honestly, that's a fine decision by you. But I would totally give the Howard a shotgun a try. And I say it with so much love and passion to this shotgun which is weird i know 
but trust me this shotgun is so worth grinding for it's honestly the best shotgun in the game if you guys haven't tried it make sure you guys go try it make sure you guys get your grind on for this tier 5 shotgun because honestly man you guys are missing out if five shotgun absolutely shreds now and honestly any of the three shotguns are very viable options now especially now with the tier 5 so now guys i honestly want to know what your guys opinion is for the top three shotguns or honestly what is your favorite shotgun in the game so leave it down in the comment section below which of your three shotguns are your favorite and you know which ones you would use and which one would you not use Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm going to be producing more videos here. I've just been grinding zombies a lot, trying to get every single thing tier 5 so I can go over a video maybe soon over all the tier 5 different upgrades or overall what I think about, you know, the Outbreak game mode. But I have videos coming out. I won't be only doing Call of Duty. So for those people that don't watch only Call of Duty videos, I got stuff coming for you guys. I got a bunch of videos coming. So make sure you guys subscribe with those post notifications on. If you guys found this video amazing, make sure you guys leave a like. And like I said, comment down below what you guys think of, you know, the shotguns now. Anyways, that's going to be it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.